my name's Eric Wilson. Um, so I'm a mines graduate, I'm a chemical engineer, which is awesome. Um, I went back to mines in 2000 and got a engineering and technology management masters, uh, which is an MBA, but with way more spreadsheets. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the engineering side of business, as I call it. Um, I'm actually back at mines right now pursuing a PhD in space resources, uh, which is why I tell the story is because that's how I met Greg. And so I, uh, not even a year we've known each other. I had written a paper that presented at the Ascend conference, which is the big national aerospace conference last fall. Uh, and I just happened to have a passion for STEM education. I'll talk about it in a second. And I saw Greg's topic about this thing he was doing, building ships for STEM education. And I missed the session. And so I emailed you and said, hey, I'm sorry I missed your session, but I really like to understand what you're doing. And that's how it all started was this conversation about that and then like six weeks later we decided let's just start right no prep no nothing we launched martian greenhouse um, and so it started um, in january with a very simple challenge how do you grow plants on mars and that is the end of guidance we give teams from there it is whatever they can come up with paired up with aiaa's industry experts because this was a pilot for aiaa as well because you know that's the aerospace international group right they're looking to do the same thing how do you build that connection into what will be your replacement right and so they're they're trying to foster that desperately right they even have a distinguished mentor program where they qualify and grade people on their ability to do the soft stuff because everybody in aaa can do the hard stuff right we all know stem it's kind of you know the bar to entry after that being a good mentor is not that and so this distinguished mentors program has really stepped up um, and the guy that runs it nationally is committed to the program and said, I'll find you whoever you need to find. You know, if your kids have a question in you know, astrobiology, I got somebody. If they got a question in thermodynamics of Mars, I got somebody, right? And Martian Greenhouse last year, when we met with Thias and some other teams, we had no idea what would happen. Just none. And to me, that is the heart of what I like about this, as well as what I try to encourage in all the STEM education I, I pursue with everybody else which is being comfortable with being uncomfortable. 